Hello Buccaneers, we are in Grand Teton National Park and we're going to show you the fun things you can do here. We will! We're in Grand Teton National Park right now and we're using the Travel Stories app to learn about the area. Basically, when we drive and get to a point of interest, the app will automatically- we're up on a crosswalk. What's so that? There are bathrooms here and a bunch of information boards about the dam. Yes. Anglers on the lake catch brown trout, lake trout, and cutthroat trout. The first stop on the Travel Stories app of Gaper Guide Grand Teton takes us to the Chapel of the Sacred Heart. They actually have masses here, and it's only open for four months of the year. The guide told us that this chapel wasn't named after Grand Teton because Teton means breasts in French. Let's go. This chapel was donated in 2002 by a New York and Wyoming family after 9-11. The Travel Stories app. As we are driving through the trees here, I would like you to imagine what this place was like <laughs> in the early 1800s when mountain men were trapping furs. I'd say every 45 seconds or so. I mean, it depends, but the Travel Stories app will give information about the area. Sometimes it's telling you when you're approaching a place that you can pull out or turn to go see something. So the Travel Stories app tells us about many places that we otherwise would not have known. And it's like having a private tour guide. I like how when we, whenever we uh, drive, every like minute, we hear some fun facts about where we're, we're about to drive Arena, by. Which Just is like that. some of the best pizza in Jackson Hole. This way, the drive never gets boring. We are at the Snake River Overlook. A we are. A photographer named Ansel Adams took a photo here 70 years ago. It's a famous photo. And now we're at the same location, but trees have grown, so it's not quite the same view. Oh yeah, it we, is it. Before you could see the river more, now it's just yeah. there. Just kidding, the overlook is actually over here. But still, there's some trees blocking, and there's backlight. This is not the best time of the day to see it. Probably in the morning would be better when the sun's on the other side. But when this photo was taken, it looks like the sun's over there. Maybe it depends on the camera on them. See how beautiful this is? The Tetons and a curving river. We're now at Jenny Lake and we're gonna take the shuttle boat to another part of the lake where we can get off and hike to a waterfall. And we just missed the boat by a few seconds. Well, it's gone now actually. Uh, so we're gonna wait for the next one. The boat dropped us off and now we're hiking a half mile to Hidden Falls. Boarding the Jenny Lay again. Now it's time to do the Junior Ranger program.
We're turning in our booklets, saying our pledge, and getting our Junior Ranger badges. Boom, perfect. And that is Grand Teton National Park. My favorite part was being able to take pictures of the waterfall because you can get many different angles by climbing different rocks. This park is pretty diverse. There's the prettiest mountains I've ever seen, and there's Jenny Lake, there's the waterfall, there's forests, and there's flat fields, and also rivers. If you come here, you have to take the ferry. It costs $20 per person, but it's worth it because it takes you to an awesome waterfall, and the boat ride itself is fun. See you in the next video. Bye!